Hi guys, this is AJ, this is Ryan, and as I was doing my zombie videos, he was kind of listening in to what I was saying, and um, he kind of wanted to come out here and tell you guys what he thought, because around here I don't just think and learn and take things in myself, I teach it to my kids, and I tell my kids what I think, and when I do my videos, they're always around in the background, I'm not uh, hiding in a corner saying, guess what I think, because that's just not cool with me they have a mind of their own so what do you think about zombies sir well from what society has told us zombies are mostly flesh-eating carnivores who really don't have a brain okay and do you worry about that do you think one's going to come get us mm -hmm. you don't mm -hmm. what do you think is going to happen what i think of a zombie is people who are like a zombie. <coughs> Speak up a little bit so they can It's hear. like from what, uh, what I think of a zombie is what society is telling us what a zombie is. They're pretty much like carnivores or cannibals. They will go out and slaughter whatever they can get a hold of and provide for themselves. So do you think we have to worry about a zombie apocalypse? Mm -hmm. Do you think people are going to rise up from the ground and come to tear you up? Mm -hmm. I think if we're six feet underground, uh, they aren't going to make it. You don't think they're going to be able to get up here and get us? Because, mm -hmm. you know, you, you go to think about that, and you know what happens to someone when that happens. They would be, um, well, they would be decayed. They, they would be falling apart. Yeah. I don't think they'd make it all the way up. So, when you hear mommy say the zombie apocalypse, what do you think I'm talking about? What I think is that when you're talking about that, I think of people who do not prep, that do not take the warnings that we are providing for them. And we? Are you saying you're a prepper? Mm hmm. I got such a good kid. And. They will take advantage of us because if we don't act before they act, or after they act, they're just, they're just gonna take over and take what we've what we've stocked up on. So you think it's just people who didn't prepare and they're coming to take what we've prepared? Mm -hmm. You don't think they're dead? No. Nope. You don't think they're um, coming to eat you? <coughs> nope. I think maybe if um, if they're coming and we have no food, that could be a last resort. Um, we learn from like the Donner Party, where they all traveled together. They got stranded. They had nothing else they could do, even though they were ostracized and never really allowed back into society. Um, they took matters into their own hands, and they did the unspeakable, the unthinkable. Um, to me. That would be an ultimate sin for anybody to partake in the eating of human flesh. That's um, that's something for the movies. Um, that's something for George Ramirez to put up on screen to entertain us. That's what a movie is. It's entertainment. And you've seen zombie movies, right? Mm -hmm. Not a lot. I don't let a lot of them in there, but they uh, they snuck and. Seen Zombie Land. Um, I've seen some others. Okay, let's not dig your own grave here, Mister. Um, what did you think of those movies? Did you, you know, have nightmares, and did you feel mm -hmm. that was really going to happen to you? Nope. Do you think that you have your outlook because of what um, your parents have taught you, or are you just smart enough to figure it out on your own? I usually take both sides of that and take what my parents tell me and what I know and put them together, and then I'll get a bigger outcome. So, you're saying you kind of research it on your own even though we tell you something? Not, well, kind of. Kind of. Yeah, he's trying not to make me feel too bad. I've got another uh, Google friend. He uh, kind of likes to check out Mama's story, because, you know, parents, we start out kind of telling the half-truth about some things. And, trying to protect him from things, so 
So they learned that sometimes mommy keeps things to herself. She doesn't lie. Mommy doesn't lie to you, does she? Mm -hmm. And we're usually pretty good about asking questions. If they say, um, mommy, what's this? Or what's that? Can you still call me mommy? Mm -hmm. You still call me mommy. Uh, you know, what can I do about this? We go look it up together if I don't know the answer. So I've kind of taught them to be a little bit of me and kind of taught them to get out there and find things out for themselves. So they don't. They don't always listen to me. Um, and I don't really think that's a bad thing. They listen to me when it counts. When I tell them, don't do this, they listen to me. But when I'm giving them information, um, they know it's best to get more than one side of the story. Uh, mommy is fairly educated, I think. Um, I know quite a bit, but I don't know it all. And I let them know I don't know it all. So if I am laxed in something or just can't recall, we go look it up together. And I think that's where he gets a lot of his spunk from mommy. What else? Do you think anything else about zombies, about our topic here? Do you think it was interesting hearing me go over all the folklore and legend? Yeah. He even corrected me. S-U-M-E-R is pronounced how? Sumer. Sumer, not summer. And that was kind of cute. As soon as I turned off the camera, he's like, Mom, it's Sumer, not summer. I was like, oops, sorry. <laughs> so he's very bright. And both of my kids, they know what's going on. And, and they know what the truth is. They know it's out there. And if they may not be able to find it in their general surroundings, they just look it up. You don't think anything else about zombies or anything else you can tell them? I think if there was a carnival zo carnivore zombie, that humanity would put one heck of a fight to stand up against them. But, um,. The zombie contagion in a reality would be um, people that are infected with something and their bite or their saliva or their blood could infect other people so it would grow pretty rapidly. You really think we could stand up to that? If we try hard enough. If we try hard enough. So do you think there's enough of us out there prepping and trying hard? Mm-hmm. Eh, I don't think so. There's not enough of us out there. There needs to be more people that um, not only research, but sit down and talk to their kids and let their kids research. Um, people who not only prep, but who teach, who share. Uh, we need to pass along knowledge. I don't think there's enough of that. I think more of us can do that. I think you can do that on your own, because you've been doing it. Mm -hmm. Even though sometimes I'm like, ah, you, know, you might not want to say the word prepper. You might not want to say we're doing this or that. You know, kind of try to protect them, and I don't want anybody to think that they're, um, you know, half by wall. But in his own right, you know, if uh, anybody says anything to mommy about being a prepper, he's pretty quick to step up and say, "Hey, look, uh, don't talk to my mama that way." You've been pretty good about that. Mm -hmm. So you're not worried about zombies. You don't think we're gonna have a zombie apocalypse? Mm -hmm. You don't think anybody's gonna come eat your brain? There you have it. He's quiet. I wish you'd look up and smile so these people would quit thinking that I beat you up or something. My shy boy. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Oh, see? He loves me. <laughs> All right, we'll close for now, guys. But like I said, he just heard me talking about zombies and he said, Mom, I want to do a zombie video too. So I put the camera back on. I thought I'd let you see what he thinks. And I know he's still a little quiet behind this camera, but. He's a really good boy, and he's very boisterous when I turn it off and letting me know what I did wrong. <laughs> but we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.